All right, guys, welcome. My name is Tyler Sexton, and you are here in our hyperbaric review course. It's going to prepare you for the hyperbaric exam uh, for physicians. All right, and we hope you're enjoying yourself. This next lecture will focus on decompression sickness. Uh, you will see a lecture on decompression sickness and arterial gas symbolism. All right, now you're going to see a variety of different things uh, in terms of decompression sickness. We're going to talk about a variety of different types. I'm going to teach you how to diagnose uh, and effectively treat uh, a decompression sickness um, event or patient. All right, so we will get right on uh, underway. All right, so the main thing I want you guys to take away from this entire lecture of all the things that we talk about is what is decompression sickness. Now, um, just as a reminder, we're dealing with a Henry's Law, and this is what I talk about. We think about Henry's Law in two ways. We think about it in the negative effects, then that what that means is when you increase the pressure, a gas is directly proportional to its delivery to the tissues based on its pressure, basically, which means that when you have a decompression sickness, for example, nitrogen is forced into the tissues... Uh, based on the increased pressure. And when you decrease that pressure, it comes back out into, into uh, solution and into the tissues, causing bubbles and therefore causing symptoms. All right, that's the negative effect of Henry's Law is in regards to uh, decompression sickness. However, the positive effects of Henry's Law is in regards to oxygen and wound healing. We're using pressure to force oxygen into the plasma and into those tissues to promote wound healing and to fight against um, reperfusion injury, for example. All right? and ischemic uh, components of a wound injury. All right? But in this lecture for now, decompression sickness, what I want you to take away is this is the pathological formation of bubbles in the body, and it's directly following uh, decompression all right? after you're breathing an inert gas. Now, nitrogen is our inert gas. All right? So we all know that we're breathing a mixture of 21% oxygen and 79% nit nitrogen right now as we're breathing. Now, you will see that as we breathe, that nitrogen, in terms of uh, diving, gets accumulated into our tissues uh, based on a variety of different things that we're going to discuss in this lecture, and it's going to cause symptoms. All right, so first we've got to talk about what is DCS and where it came from.